Okay, so we're working on this Dodge Ram 3500 pickup at the moment, and we have an issue with the uh, the gear stick. It has a lot of play in it, so we're trying to get creative here. Um, this part is discontinued from Dodge. It's also very, very difficult to find it um, at any of these salvage yards. They're almost in non-existence. If you can find one, it's awesome. We couldn't, um, so we're going to be trying to rig it. Rig it, <laughs> but in a it's going to be a professional rig, guys. This is not going to be yeah. an amateur rig. Well, that kind of looks sure. like an amateur rig right now, but yeah. But it's a rig that was suggested to us by a local uh, machine shop. Machine shop who does restoration of vehicles, and so. You know, we trust their judgment and their work. They're, they're a great place. And um, they suggested that we add a couple of pieces here to our gear shift coming out from the transmission. We have like this little steel lever, lever there. I can somehow get in there and show you. And at the moment, there's too much play between that and the gear stick that goes over the top. So we've got these pieces of metal. Can you show us those pieces of metal that you got, babe? Uh, the guy kind of cut it to size for us. We kind of had to make it a little dash shorter. Had to grind so it. Had to grind it down a bit. And um, we're just going to be kind of taping these on in place. We have no idea if this is going to work um, at this point, but we're just going to see what happens. At the moment, you try and put it into gear, and it just wants to like fly around everywhere, the gear stick. Mm. So... We're thinking if we can fill some of that space up. Um, there was obviously either more rubber in there at some point that's worn away, or there may have been like a plastic insert at some point, and that's kind of broken and fallen away, um, one or the other. But we don't know if it's going to work. Yeah. We may only be able to fit one of those pieces and not the two, you know. So that's it there. I'm just using a bit of uh, electrical tape. This is our gear shift lever here and I'm gonna get it flush let's have a look at that hole in there let's show how big that hole is it's kind of a big hole you know square shaped all right let's see if we can get that in there eh? so let's see you may have to hold those metal pieces too in place help to hold them with the fingers i don't know like oh i don't know jiggle it maybe jiggle it side to side up and down. There we go. Might be moving. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe we can even fit one of those on, not two, eh? Yeah, maybe one. What do you think? It's starting to go, but it's too to go? tight. Yeah, let's just take one of those off. Yep, let's take one off. Alright. We took one of them off, and now we're just going to see how it goes. There's just one there. You know, if this is too thick as well, this piece, we might be able to find some kind of metal that you can bend and wrap it around that that piece you know what I mean some kind of like aluminium sheeting that's thin yeah and we can create our own little sleeves so possible that could be what we work on next if we can't get this to go so all right let's see this looks like it might be coming down we may have to lube it but we also want it to be nice and tight and not kind of... There we go. I don't know, it might go in there. It's not going down. Not really. Maybe it's too fat. <laughs> Maybe it's too fat. Did it fall down at all, that metal piece? Is it up flush with the top? Or did it come down some? It came down a little bit. Uh. Hmm. I may have to lube this up because it might yeah. be getting stuck on this tape. Really? You know? I think it's going. I think it's just getting caught on the tape. Really? Yeah. Ugh. Ow! What happened? You're on my toe. <laughs> Sorry. Move your toe. It's okay. My toe's gone. I think it's going. Really? Yeah. Yeah, 
say? Is it actually? Still got a little bit of play, but yeah. See right there, it's better. Yeah, a little bit of play is fine though, as long as it doesn't have like major play like it had, you know? Yeah. How does that feel? Much better, right? Good enough, yeah. Yeah. It turns like... a little bit, see? But it kind of prevents it from turning. Yeah, most manuals do have that little bit of play. We just don't want the major play. Yeah. Now, as long as the major play is gone, you know, as long as you can put it into gear easy enough when you're driving. Shouldn't be hitting the dash though. Really? See that? Right there? Yeah. Shouldn't be hitting the dash in first gear. But lower gear, see that? Yeah. Still turning a little bit. Put into second? Second, third, fourth. So it's turning there? Still turning right there. Are you sure yeah. it's not in the part that's underneath? Like the part that's going down into the transmission? Are you sure it's not that? We can grab some pliers. Try to twist that. I think it's the rubber. I think it's the rubber. Okay, so I've just taped the second piece on that edge. So we've got one on that edge there and one on there um, if you put it on this side and that side then it becomes too wide this way so at the moment that is the perfect perfect width at least from what we can tell from here to here but then from here to here this way it's a little bit too kind of narrow still so that's why we had to add this one so we'll see how that goes now and we'll get uh, snoops to come and put that gear shift on Okay, so... I'm going to cut out here. Okay. Just about, so I have leverage. So you open the other side, go look at the other side. Okay. All right. If you look over here. Yeah. It's going down slowly. It is. Yeah. It needs to be going down slowly. Don't know if it's going to go all the way, but I hope so. Hey, hey. Come in with a mallet. The thing is, that's what we want though. We want it to be tight like that. Yeah, we do want it to be tight like that. You know? So you just keep whacking it. It's kind of hard to, I got it on more with my own, you know? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and Put it into gear now and see if that made any difference. You know, we've got that extra piece of metal in there. Is there less play? Or same? It's better, but it shouldn't hit the dash. You know that? Why is it hitting all this? I don't know. That makes no sense. But as long as it's going into gear, as long as it's fully going into gear, I mean, yeah. it's going to be probably a little movement because of the fact that it's a 20 year old vehicle you know what i mean but it shouldn't it shouldn't hit all this yeah no it shouldn't yeah but is it easier to go into gear now like yeah yeah do that yeah it does kind of hit a little but so it turns a little bit still that's weird it should not hit the dash like that. Yeah, but maybe it's just that. It's maybe it's the actual bushing right at the very, you know. Maybe it's not necessarily the stick at that point. Yeah, you know I mean, like there was play in the stick, which we've kind of fixed, right? Yeah. Because I mean, maybe the rest of the play is just the play that's kind of natural to one of these that's this old. Hmm. I don't know. It seems. That's normal. That's normal right there. That's not normal. It's not normal to shift and then break the dash. That's not normal. It shouldn't be touching any of this. Really, I wonder really if that's weird. the original gear shift. That's what I'm wondering. 
I wonder if that was that's, changed at some that's point. That's what I'm wondering. Because... It may not be the one for it. Because yeah. when they made this from factory, yeah. that shouldn't come anywhere close to hitting this. Yeah. I think it's the wrong gear shifter. That's what I'm thinking. But at the same time, it has to be the right one. It has to be because the other ones that I was looking at online, they attach differently. They don't attach like this. They have like a different kind of a, they have a different end to them. So I think this is probably the original baby. It's just yeah. that over time, can we like knock that? Babe, let's just knock that. Bend the freaking handle. Whack it. I don't know so if you it can comes bend down it. an angle a little bit more like I that. I don't know if you can bend that. Really? Well, let's take it to D&D Welding and let them bend it for us. Yeah, we'll have to ask them. Yeah. We can at least drive it there, I think, Yeah, like this. Yeah, we should be able to drive it there at least now. It's better. It looks like it's got, you know. Yeah. It does look like it's... um. It's we shifting can, much better. We can better. at least drive there. Let's put this yep. stuff, uh -huh. these screws, in a Gladlock yep. bag before we lose them. Okay. All right. Okay, so would you say that the gear shifter is um, more secure and there's not so much play anymore, right? Yeah, it's more secure. Yes, it's still but... touching that, that area, that area of the dash, but... Yeah, but it's not... I think it helped, though. I think those it two pieces you. of metal did help in there, baby. Right? One, two, three, what do you think? four, yeah, five, six. We okay. have one more screw missing. Yes. Yes, guys. His answer was yes. He's distracted. Let's see 